So my brother and my brother, remember them? They moved to Red Hook, Brooklyn, and every weekend they crossed the Brooklyn Queens Expressway into Carroll Gardens to play basketball. Because they're so fucking predictable that they gotta go play basketball like every other kid in our like Mike if I could be like Mike generation. <laughs> and whenever they're playing basketball in Carroll Gardens, they call me to tell me about this kid. Nah, but this tall, lanky Indian kid. Nah, but he calls himself DP. Nah, but baby, Amira, I'm saying, but I'm saying, carajo, I'm saying, cause I'm Indian, cause I'm fucking Indian. <laughs> nah, but that's my culture, baby. You don't know nothing about my culture. You're Dominican. No, I'm not saying Dominicans are stupid. I'm saying you Dominican, so you ain't never had no reason to know nothing about no Indians. Until me. My brother and my brother find this kid's use of Spanish slang when he's hitting on Latinas hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and since this, kid's, since this kid stays steady hitting on Latinas and, well, women in general, my brother and my brother stay calling me. And once in a while, if I get lucky, I get to hear when he stops hitting on Latinas, or, well, women in general. Because when he stops hitting on them, most of the time, it gets funnier. Motherfucker, you step on my sneakers again and I will fuck your ass up! Me and my whole country got the capabilities! Long range nuclear missile status, doggy! We the new superpowers! We make your Jordans, train your doctors, and help desk your ass when your math breaks down! New superpowers, doggy! Get your ass up <laughs> off my street with that shit! <clears throat> nah, pero mamita! Boy, what I'm saying is this. Kama Sutra. <laughs> and then, my brother and my brother hang up the phone because VP is ready to get game. And I sit in my hotel room, moderately, moderately obsessed with the way this kid works with words, switches codes, drops slang, and makes me laugh, indirect. Him and his cell phone and me on my brothers and my brothers. And a few hours later, my brother and my brother call me and they tell me the same thing every time. VP wrecked us on the court, they say. This kid can play, they say. <laughs> like Billy Hoyle, the white man can't jump, like he's hustling us, yo. Like he comes in, this goofy, awkward Indian man, not even Chinese, so you get a little of that Yao Ming warning shot. <laughs> he's Indian, and he speaks Spanish. Fuck it, he could trash talk you in English, Spanish, Hindi, and Urdu. And I stay listening, because I didn't even know that my brother knew that Urdu was a word, let alone a language. <laughs> and I realized that it's changing the entire way they look at the world. To find this Indian, this Indian, I don't know, this Indian fucking rock star? <laughs> and then one time, my brother and my brother say, I'd pay to see this kid. I'd pay to see this kid. They see him every week. And they pay to see this kid. Now this is the point of the 